everybody. I'm Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Premiere Elements, as well as the MoviePicks.com Guide to Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2022, looking at some of the new features in the program. As you're aware, if you've used the program for a while or if you poked around in it, the program has some really nice ways to affect pictures. Now, down here in the lower right hand corner, uh, we can not only see the layers, which I always keep open, but we also have various graphics and backgrounds we can add to our picture. We can apply styles. These work with layers. They can add, as you can see, bevel shapes or any kind of shape or drop shadows to your layers. There are filters for changing the way your picture looks. There are hundreds of these. Look at all of these for changing the look of your picture. And new here in Premiere Elements 2022, are some effects. Now there have been effects before and you can still find these under the classic tab here. And there is a huge library of them. These are all very nice for making your photo look like an old photo or making it look faded or making it look foggy or dividing it into a grid. But under the artistic tab, it's kind of a cool new feature. Now this feature takes classic works of art, classic styles, and applies them to your picture. So I can take that beautiful Japanese wave drawing and I can apply that look to my picture. I can go with a Van Gogh look or something more cubist or abstract, or even go with something as classical as Mona Lisa. Give it that Mona Lisa painting look. What I think really makes this tool cool though is not only how simple it is to apply but if you go down to the bottom you see you can affect how much strength in other words how much this effect is applied to your picture but you can also choose what it is applied to in other words right now it's applied to both the subject and the background the program is smart enough to recognize what the subject of your picture is it's going to recognize the faces it's going to recognize the people and the tree and watch this if i uncheck subject this visual effect this artistic effect is only applied to the background. Now we've got this woman and this child in kind of a surrealistic background and I can apply one of the other artistic effects. Maybe that's even more effective. Make them look like they're living in a cartoon wonderland. It's pretty amazing and Adobe has added a nice library of looks and effects that you can apply with just a click. If you want to remove them all, just go up here to the reset button at the top, click it, and it removes all of the effects or any effect that you've applied. A really nice new tool for adding effects and looks to your picture. And if you want to know more about it and all of these little filters and styles and graphics, you want to check out the moviepicks.com guide to Photoshop elements. The book is available on amazon.com. I also create a number of tutorials on YouTube and on moviepicks.com. And I hope to see you again real soon.